Okay, let's do some cord drilling. Let's drill some holes. I'm Lee, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, if you've not been here before. Uh, let's give you a quick view of what we need to do today. Right, excuse the bikes, we took the garage down, so a lot of the stuff that was in the garage in here. I want to get this room gutted, we've still got the polystyrene tiles up on the ceiling, we've got cracked tiles all over the walls, and we need to sort this out. So what I want to do, I want to just get this sink out of here. Better do some washing up first. I want to get that sink out of here, and this is going to be the position of our new sink under this window. Uh, we need. I need to sort out all these pipe works, but this is just temporary. I'm going to make some new proper units for in here, and we've got another sink that needs to fit into a worktop. So that old silver sink will be going eventually, and there'll be a brand new one here. But for now, we're just going to take the old one out. We're just going to put it in here so we can gut that back room. I'm going to drill the waste here. The sink waste is probably pretty much dead in line with where this one is now. So we're just going to move it over this side. We're going to have it quite low down, probably down around here, just to the slope to the drain, which is over there, is not going to be at a sort of too steeper angle. So we're going to sort of drill it around about down here. So we'll bring our pipes down the wall and it's not going to interfere with and we'll get outside. Right, so let's take a look at our Corbett's. Our Ronnie Corbett's. <laughs> right, so I bought this Urbau, if that's how you say it. I bought that from Screwfix quite a while ago. It was about 70 quid. But you know, some of these uh, pieces, I mean, this has done all the, um, sort of where the mains water came in. That's been used quite a bit already. Uh, but some of these pieces, I mean, that uh, that one's probably going to cost you around £30. And some of these other ones are like £25 and £20, plus your, you know, all your arbors and your extensions. You know, it all adds up. So I knew I had to drill a few holes in the walls, so might as well buy the kit. And for 70 quid, it's done all right so far. Obviously, this one's not been used yet. This is the 52 mil which is what we'll use to put a, a 40 mil pipe outside. Right, putting these things together. When you first get these, when you first use them, you put them together, that's your extension arm, that's your arbor that goes into your SDS drill. You've also got um, a standard uh, a chuck for like your three teeth drill, so you can use that if you haven't got an SDS. Uh, but what happens when you screw these together, onto there and even when you put your corbett on the end of there as well what happens is it's like they weld together because of the way it's drilling and turning these two pieces end up locking tight and that's why this has got all the scratches and stuff over there because you literally have to smash them apart um, so what I've got and I've heard this helps and it has helped because I've used it on one piece before. And I've just spent ages trying to get them apart. Um, I just bought these little pack of washers, the O-rings from, um, they had them over at Aldi's. But what you can do, just take a couple of washers. Let me see if that one's big enough. Yeah, there you see that one should do. It's sort of, it's tight. It's like the same size as the threads. But that should go over and slide that down. Now what that should do when you screw these together, see no, that's not going to work. <laughs> it does need to be a small tight one. Right. right, so those ones are too big. Ding! Round one. Right, so that's one I had on there before. Yes, they're about the same size. Right, so yeah, we're going to use these smaller ones. They're literally, they are literally the same size as the ends. But if you just grab it around there and just stretch it over, 
See, so that, that is now quite tight, right round the bottom of the threads. Now let's check that one. Now we we'll do that one up. And you can see that rubber ring is now staying inside of the arm. And that should stop these two getting locked together. They should be easier to undo. Another thing I'm just going to do as well is just put some grease around these threads. Hopefully that will help as well. I'll find the grease now. There we go, just got some multi-purpose grease. Just going to take a little bit of grease, not too much. He says, as he cakes it in the stuff. There you go, just grease up the end. Hopefully that will help stop, stop them locking it together. And you can get them apart when you finish with them. So we'll do the same on this one as well. Tighten all these up. And they'll tighten up as it spins around you drill the hole anyway. So we're just going to take our 52 mil, get that in there, then we can just take our, our pilot in piece, just drops down inside of there, and then to get it out you've got these holes at the end, well I think, you, I think this is called a drift, just got an angle piece, that you basically punch in there and it will push the drill bit out. Now you only leave that in there when you're starting the hole off. Once, once your you know, teeth had, has, had bitten into the wall and made a part circle, you can then take this out. This is just to keep it centered, just, just to help you. And also when, when you're doing this, you really need a, a drill or an SDS drill that has a, a clutch on it. Because these will bind up and hold. If you tilt it slightly either way, anyway, it will grab into the brick and it will, it will stop. So if you don't have a clutch on your drill, this is going to stop and that drill is just going to spin around in your hand and can easily maybe break your wrist. Easily maybe. Let's get down and drill this hole. Alright, so we're going to make sure our hammer action is turned off for now. If you, if you have your hammer action on when you use this, you will destroy the teeth on your core bit. Right, now this first part is just plasterboard. Uh, this was just plasterboarded over there, stuck with a expanding sticky foam. So this first bit's going to go through fine. That doesn't look very strong. Really, if you was going onto the trouble is, is the plasterboard. If you was going through brick, that would go into the brick and it would line you up perfectly. But because it's not get into the brick is just bouncing around on the plasterboard. Right, so now we're through the plasterboard in the brick. This should hold still. It's feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you. And there is nothing that can hold us back, hold us back. We can do it. All right, now we've got our hole sorted out. I've switched over to um, our extension pulse and just go all the way through now. The only thing I can say why it was jumping around at the start is because it was going through plasterboard. Basically this went into the plasterboard and because the plasterboard is so soft it just made the hole bigger so it wasn't really a guide. Really you should be going straight into a brick. When I did these holes over there, I don't know you see one point in that. When I did the holes for these um, gas pipes and water pipes it went straight through but I was going straight onto you know a solid wall so that's the only reason I think it was bouncing around at start just because of the plasterboard so there you go that's our first course of bricks we're through all right now I'll go for our outer bricks
finally, we are through. Whoa. Right, so there we go, that's it. But also, the first brick, we got through the first brick, no problems, um, I don't know whether you can see, but the bricks inside are just yeah, normal bog standard, like house bricks, engineered bricks, whatever they are, whatever they were back in the 1920s. Uh, but the outside brick are Accrington brick, and whenever I've had builders around, they say, oh bloody hell, Accrington bricks. Ro absolutely rock hard bricks. So that second brick, the outer skin, which is Accrington brick, took a long, long time. I mean, that probably took, that probably took like an hour or two, where like, I had, you know, I had a few breaks in between, let the drill cool down, uh, let my arms rest, because it weighs a ton. But, you know, just keep at it. You will eventually get through. It's not that they're, it's not that they're, um, you know, super cheap core bits or they're blunt or anything like that. It is literally it is because on this wall, it's Accrington brick. If you've just got normal standard bricks, you'll probably be through there within half an hour. Right, now just to see if our rubber washers and our grease putting in the end of the, on the, uh, on the screw threads helped us all. So let's start by taking off the core bit. Just these a bit. Let's get them on there. Right. It's still tight. Oh, there you go. Too bad. So that's your core bit. It's still quite tough, but it's a lot easier. That bit usually isn't the, the trouble. Uh, so you can still see we've got our rubber washer intact on there. Um, now these two, these are the ones that usually sort of weld together. Usually you end up sticking things through the hole and getting the hammer out and smashing up the bits. So just that. Making a meal of it. Making a meal of it. Get that on there. That's the right size now. And again, these are usually absolutely solid. Let's try with a washer. It's still pretty tight. <coughs> there we go. That's broken the seal on there. That should come apart now by hand. And there we go again. You can still see. Oh, you can still see the rubber washer in there intact. And if any of you have used these before, you especially know when they're done up, they are a nightmare to get apart. I mean, you can see all the scrapes and stuff on there where I've had pipe grips on there trying to undo it before and I couldn't. And you end up sticking something through the hole trying to grip this, hitting it with a hammer to try and just break the seal. And it is really, really hard, but just stick a couple of washers on there, little bit of grease, but it's mainly the washers that help. Get some washers in there and then you can easily undo them. So then uh, you can put them back in your case. Of course, you can leave them all together if you like, but then you can't put everything back in its, back in its case. And when you go to use it in a year's time, you won't be able to find that. You won't be able to find your arbors and your extension. And these will probably cost you 20 to 30 pounds just to replace on their own. Uh, I'm gonna give them a quick wipe and clean up before I put them in there. Ah, so there you go. I hope, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you've learned something. Hope it's helped you. Uh, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.